welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather. So I'm super excited about today's video. I'm gonna be sharing seven effortless go-to looks that work every time so that when you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear or I don't know what I wanna to wear today. Like I'm sure all of you have had that dreaded feeling, myself included. So these are seven outfit formulas that I think of when I feel like I have nothing to wear and I go for one of these and they work every single time. So I'm going to be sharing seven looks. So make sure you watch this entire video. And also if you would uh, please subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. I publish two new videos every single week. So let's get started. Seven easy go-to outfit formulas that never ever fail. Okay. Outfit number one, all black. So I think all black is incredibly chic. I think it's sophisticated. I think it's edgy. I think it's cool. And I just love wearing all black personally. And when I see anyone else wearing all black, I just think they look amazing. So an all black ensemble is definitely a no fail go-to look of mine. The look I want to feature today is this awesome black bodysuit by A Gold E. I love the way the shoulders sort of cut in and that's very, you know, trending really hard right now on Instagram. These types of tanks that are cut in on the shoulders like this and bodysuits have been seen on tons of mega influencers and celebrities as well. So I just love like a black bodysuit is sexy. It's easy. It's effortless. And I really love this ribbed one by A Gold E. It is under a hundred dollars. So it's very affordable. It's a classic basic that you'll be able to wear time and time again. Then I paired this bodysuit with these A Gold E faded black paper bag waist denim jeans. I love these because of the waist. The waist makes these jeans incredibly slimming. The faded black wash actually makes these jeans a bit on the edgy side, which matches my personal style perfectly because I am a bit edgy. So I love these jeans. These are a new silhouette that A Goldie has just come out with. They also come in a light wash denim version. So if the faded black isn't your thing, you can easily order the light wash denim, which I'll link below as well. So know this ladies too, everything that I'm talking about will be linked below in my description box. And if there's ever anything on the expensive side, I always link a budget friendly version because I believe that no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. Then I paired this outfit back with these awesome shoots heels that I've been talking about recently on my channel, on my blog. They have clear straps atop the cross. Uh, um, across the top of them. So they are very flattering because they actually make your legs look longer because they don't break up, you know, your legs and your ankles and your foot. So I have these in nude as well because they're that good. They're very comfortable for a four inch heel since they are a mule style and they have no back on them. You'll notice that most of my heels are mule styles because I feel like those are the most comfortable type of heels. And I will be doing a spring shoe collection video soon featuring a ton of low heels that are all very wearable and very versatile. So stay tuned for that. So that was look number one. Look number two, an easy outfit formula is all white. So I think all white is also incredibly chic. I think it's equally as chic as all black. And in the summer and spring, I tend to go towards all white looks because I just think they're more fresh, they're more modern, and they're definitely more spring and summer. So, you know, right now this would be a look that I would, you know, definitely wear as soon as we can all go out to dinner and go out again, which hopefully that will be soon. Um, so I did this Alice and Olivia top. I actually just got this recently from the local boutique, trying to support the local boutiques here in Dallas. Um, it is a bit cropped, but know this, if you pair it with high-waisted denim, like I have done, you're not going to show any of your stomach. So that is key. Obviously at my age, I'm 46. I don't want to be showing any of my stomach. Maybe like a sliver of my skin would be a tastefully sexy way to wear this top. So I love the bigger sleeves. The fabric is really nice. It feels good on my body. It's wrinkle free. So I just think this is a great summer white top. 
If you don't have at least one cute summer white top, you definitely need one. So I highly recommend adding this to your wardrobe. And then I just did these white high rise straight leg jeans by A Gold E. If you haven't noticed, I love A Gold E denim. This is called the Riley. I have these in several different wa different washes because this silhouette of denim is so flattering. The straight leg, high-waisted denim is really trending hard in 2020. If you wanna know about some other pairs of jeans that are trending hard in 2020, you can check out a video I did called Best Denim of 2020, so I'll be sure and link that down below as well. But the one thing I look for in white jeans is that the denim, denim is thick enough so that it hides any flaws or challenge areas, and these pass the test in that arena, so you know, thumbs up for these jeans. I love them. The fit is great. They might stretch out a tad bit, although I did take my regular size because I feel like the worst thing you can do is order white denim that's too tight because then it will definitely show any flaws that you may have. So I say when in doubt with white denim, go up a size. But again, I did take my regular size and since they do stretch out a little bit, it worked perfectly. And then I did a white belt with a silver buckle to kind of break it up. I got this belt at, a, at the local Chanel boutique, but I will link a similar white belt with a, with a silver belt buckle for you ladies that's a lot more budget friendly. And then these amazing white heels that I've had on, or I will have on in several of these looks, proving their versatility. So these are awesome. I've had them for quite a while. They're by Bottega Veneta, so they are a bit pricey, but I did find some great dupes on Shopbop that I will link below as well. All right, look number three, that's an easy go-to outfit formula, is literally a simple white tee and some jeans. Like how, more, how much more basic and easy can you get with that? But here's the twist and here's what's gonna take this look up to the next level, is that you actually knot the white tee at the bottom and a little bit on the side. I love doing that because I just think it takes any average t-shirt and denim look up a few notches. It's an easy, quick thing to do. It will literally take you two seconds and your outfit will just automatically be so much chicer and so much cooler. So I love doing that. This is my favorite white tee by ATM. It is a V-neck version because I love wearing V-necks to show off my favorite necklaces. It's super soft, so it's easy to knot because it is soft and thin. So pick out a tee in your closet that is soft and it is thin and it's a little bit oversized so that when you knot it, it's um, just gonna look perfect. So love this tee by ATM, but another tee that I recommend that's a little less expensive is a $19 Madewell tee. I also own this tee and wear it a ton. It's amazing. If you know that you're gonna knot the tee, I would suggest sizing up one size. Plus I just think basic white tees just look cooler when you size up one size. So instead of taking extra smalls in my white tees, I always take smalls and I just think it adds a little bit more of an effortless cool girl vibe. And then these page jeans, which I can't get enough of. I've got them recently and they're super comfortable because they have stretch in them, but they do a great job of molding to your body. I think they make your legs look crazy long because they're high-waisted. I think they have a 12-inch rise, which is extremely high-waisted. And then the length is actually a little bit longer, so it hits below my ankle. I'm five foot four, just for a reference. But I think that's kind of cool because I just think it's a little bit different. Most of my denim is ankle length or right above my ankle bone. So since these were a little bit longer, I feel like maybe they're a little bit dressier and I liked that. So I'm just gonna leave them like this and I really love the raw edge hem and this light wash for spring and summer. It's just so perfect. Um, also, these are on sale on the Page website. So I will link them down below on the Page website. They don't have a ton of sizes left. They have about half the sizes left. So hopefully you'll get lucky and find them there, but I will link them to other places that have a lot more sizing um, sizes available. All right, the number four go-to look when you're not sure what to wear is just a classic button down. So I found this black classic button down on the Nordstrom website. It does come in white as well. It is under $50, it is wrinkle free, it is super comfortable, it's just like the perfect effortless laid back top. What I love doing to a button down to make it look a little, a little bit more modern and a little bit more cool, I think, is tying it. So I leave the top button unbuttoned like I've done with this denim shirt. 
And then I tie the bottom with the high-waisted denim. I just think it looks really chic and I love to wear my, my button up button ups like that. Then I always roll up the sleeves and just kind of make it look a bit more casual and effortless. And then I did the same page jeans that I can't get enough of because I love them so much since I've gotten them. I think I've worn them like five times and I've had them maybe a week and a half. I have them on right now as well. Proving their versatility and wearability and they're so comfortable too. They do run true to size by the way. And also I'll link all my sizing information down below for y'all. And then I just did nude pumps. This is a bit more dressy. If you wanted to be more casual, you could easily just slip on a pair of mules or slip on a lower block heel or even some sneakers. But I wanted to be a bit more dressy for this video because this is a look I would wear like out to dinner on a girl's night out or something like that. So a very easy look, a classic button down, a pair of jeans, a pair of heels. You're done so easy. Again, you can knock the button down if you wanna add a bit of interest to your look. Okay, number five, this is probably my favorite tip and one that I do most often, and that is add a third layer. Adding a jacket to any look is gonna automatically bring it to the next level, no question. You're gonna look more polished. You're gonna look more put together. That is why that is an outfit formula that I actually do probably 90% of the time because I just feel most myself and most confident when I wear a jacket, a simple tee, and some heels. So the look I wanna to feature today is this awesome white jean jacket. If you don't have a white jean jacket in your spring and summer uh, jacket collection, you definitely need one. This one's amazing. It's from Nordstrom and it's under, I think it's like $69, so it's a great price. Again, I love, I love wearing denim jackets with the sleeves pushed up. I just think they look cooler that way. And then I love this under $100 baby blue bodysuit. It's really soft, it's comfortable. You know, y'all know I'm a big fan of bodysuits because they look so sleek. They, you don't have to worry about them coming untucked or bunching up or anything like that. I just love this baby blue color for spring and summer and it looks so fresh and beautiful underneath the white jacket. And then I did the same page jeans because I wanted to show you ladies, ladies how awesome and versatile they really are. They go with so many different looks. And then I just did my white heels, my Bottega Veneta white heels. But again, I found some great dupes on Shopbop that I will link below for y'all. All right, number six, an easy go-to look is double denim. So the Canadian tuxedo. I love double denim. I've been a fan of double denim for many, many years. This is a classic look that won't be going out of style anytime soon. So I chose to do this uh, denim button down, which I'm wearing right now. That's from Nordstrom, it's under $50. It's wrinkle free. Again, I love it with the sleeves pushed up and just sort of, I did the front tuck and you know, the, the key with double denim is this, make sure that the shirt and the, the jeans are slightly different shades of denim. So one needs to be darker and the other one needs to be lighter. So in this case, my shirt is a bit darker than my jeans. You can't really go wrong if you didn't do that. I'm not saying it would look terrible. That's just the way I like to do it. I like to make my denim pieces a little bit lighter or darker than the other one to create that contrast. So that's what I did here. So I paired this easy denim shirt, again, under $50, wrinkle-free, super comfortable, super laid back. I size up in my button downs. I think I said that earlier. If I didn't, maybe I was talking about the t-shirt, but button downs too, so that they're a little bit more oversized and effortless looking. I take smalls in my button downs instead of extra smalls. Um, so love the, the half tuck. I added the belt to kind of break up the double denim look. And then I did the same page jeans because they're that amazing. I honestly love them so much and I think y'all will too. And then my uh, white heels. I think white heels are also fabulous. In addition to the gold heels, you know, a white heel is also another spring and summer shoe, um, you know, style that you definitely need. So love this double denim look. Double denim is easy to wear, just pick your favorite denim shirt and then make sure your jeans are slightly off, you know, either lighter or darker than the shirt and you'll be good to go. All right, the last look that's super easy is a jumpsuit. Why are jumpsuits so easy? Because they're like one and done, you put them on, you don't have to think about a belt, you don't have to think about, well, does this shirt match this? these pants? Doesn't matter because it's just one piece. It's just a jumpsuit, how easy is that? I absolutely adore jumpsuits. And of course, I love a denim jumpsuit because y'all know I'm such a denim lover through and through and have been since I was a little girl. 
But this denim jumpsuit is amazing. The fit is impeccable. It, it hugs in at your waist and you know, in just the right place. I love the belt so you can make it a little bit tighter or looser in the waist depending on your body type. I love this color of denim. It's kind of a medium wash. It's by Rebecca Taylor and it's available on the ShopBop website. My favorite way to wear it, of course, is adding that third layer back to that other style tip I shared earlier. This is just a white leather jacket. I will link a really cool under $100 white leather jacket down below, but you could also pair that white denim jacket with this look as well because it's, you know, of course, any white jacket is gonna do. So if you have a white jacket in your closet already, you could just throw it over this denim jumpsuit and you're gonna look like a million bucks. Like you could wear this denim jumpsuit with some gold flat uh, sandals, some gold flat slides, with that, which I will link below, which will make it a bit more casual. If you wanna dress it up like I did in these photos, you can pair it with some nude heels. These are by Steve Madden and I think they're sold out, but there's some by Shoots that are very similar that I will link below. Um, but yeah, a denim jumpsuit or any jumpsuit for that matter is another just easy, no fail outfit formula because you're one and done and you're dressed and you look fantastic. So I hope these seven outfit formulas were helpful. If you ladies have any questions, I always love hearing from y'all. So please leave me a comment down below in the description box. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm so Heather blog, and I also started a TikTok account. So feel free to follow me on TikTok as well. There's not a whole lot on there, but a few fun things. And I'm so Heather blog on TikTok. So I hope that you ladies are staying safe and staying positive. And please have a beautiful day. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye bye.